Oh, hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session. In today's session, I'm going to be recapping six trades that I took in my live trading room today for four winners, two break evens. Those break evens, we, we're going to be looking at both trend following and counter trend uh, trades today. Now, the strategies that I teach you here, you can day trade any market using the exact same strategies and techniques, whether it be futures, Forex, or stocks. Uh, you can also uh, trade using any type of, using these strategies, any type of chart type. Now today we're going to be looking at Renko, but you can trade using the Heiken Ashi, the, the tick time-based charts, it really doesn't matter. Now by law, I do need to pull up the disclaimer, there is a risk in trading, don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose, and most importantly, get the right education traders. Unfortunately, one of the greatest challenges that I have in the industry and the traders that come to me, I've got over 10,000 members now, is really not getting the right education and making the mistakes. And what that actually means is when you blow your account two or three times, you're actually, believe it or not, um, uh, incurring a lot of psychological damage when it comes to trading. It's true. Look, I won't get into that now, but please um, uh, make sure that you trade on the simulator before you eventually go live. Now, you can also click on the link below to get hold of one of my free training manuals. I've got a couple of manuals here that, I've, that uh, you can get. You can get uh, the truth about day trading uh, or this particular manual where I cover a lot of different uh, subjects in that. Now, I've been doing this now for over 27 years as a full-time trader and researcher and now a coach. And what does all of this mean to you? Traders, if there was a better way, I would tell you about it. I've spent literally tens of thousands of dollars uh, in the research and development of systems. I've employed full-time traders, uh, coders, you name it, the course, I probably have it. In fact, I've got probably one of the largest traders libraries in the world. And the reason being, there's a good reason for that. I used to manufacture um, software many years ago uh, for stock traders. And I used to have a, a traders library where uh, uh, my members, they would purchase data from me each month, could also borrow books from me. So <laughs> um, when I sold the business, I got to keep the library. So that was <laughs> one of the reasons. And by the way, that's only a few of the books. Now. Most importantly though, is the research that I've done or had staff do for me, is I've researched hundreds of trading systems and strategies, purchased hundreds of indicators, uh, systems, advanced get, Wolfwave, Trend Pro, which by the way, they've got some fantastic indicators. Um, I've got down there, you can probably see it, Forex industry reports. So I've got, you know, I've been doing this a long, long time. And one of the things is I'm a researcher. I've got over really getting close, I think to 70 uh, notebooks, 240 page notebooks now on trading systems and strategies. In the end, you may be thinking, so what? What it means is I can save you years and years of and probably tens of thousands of dollars when it comes to trading. I want you to piggyback on my experience. Now, I don't want to get bogged down there, so let's move on straight away. But first of all, I just want to quickly talk to you about what are reasonable targets to go for when you trade. Now, I, I study the science of learning, and what is really important is that you really do set goals because you're more, you're seven times more likely to achieve a goal when it's in writing. And when it comes to trading, it's absolutely critical. But at the same time, it's got to be a realistic goal. Unfortunately, traders are sold on the um, uh, the premise uh, or on the uh, magical dream that you're going to become a millionaire within a year. Yes, that is possible, but we've got to be realistic with our targets because all it does is just lead to disappointment. So what are some realistic targets? Now, in today's room, uh, in 90 minutes, just trading, uh, and we traded a micro just on two of the trades and two, two lots on the others. So in 90 minutes, we were up uh, 99.30 after commissions. Now you may go, gee whiz, is that all? Well, traders on a big contract or two big contracts, that's $990. Don't mock the micros. Let me quickly show you this. 
this is where traders need to be realistic on their account size. So we were trading the 16 tick. So if this is during the New York afternoon session. And just so you know, um, I'll just quickly show you this just to give you um, a bit of a guide. There are three, if you're trading the micro NQ, which is a great um, uh, a great spot to start if you want to go and start trading the, the large contract, the NQ, uh, because the micro is 10% of the value. So it's a really good spot to start. To start. So uh, I recommend you start, if you're trading New York, traders ask me all the time, um, what is a realistic or what's the best time frame to trade when it comes to to trading, today trading. And I said, look, it really comes down to what's tradable. And the 16 tick works really well. If like uh, I'm recording this just after the uh, London Open now. So we'll usually jump between, I run a London trading room as well. We'll jump between an eight and a 12 tick, uh, which works really well. Now, what that means is you need to have around a thousand to $1,400 in your account. When you go to the big contract, unlike what other, can I say, educators will tell you, they, they're not going to tell you how much money you really need because it's going to frighten a lot of traders away. The fact is, don't buy the lie you risk 5 to 7%, 8%. You'll blow your account. You've got to keep it below 2%. But the great news is you can start on the micros with a small account. And as I'll quickly show you, you can build it very, very quickly. For an example, in a moment, I'm going to be showing you the trades and explaining the trades that I took on a 14, sorry, on the 16 tick NQ. Realistically, you need to have between 12 and $1,400 to trade that particular time frame. never ever risking any more than 2%. If you went for just $50 a day, which is what I achieved in 90 minutes. And, and I didn't take a lot of trades, which I'll show you because I'm talking and teaching at the same time. Uh, you can see there that every time you double your $1,400, you start trading an additional contract. So down here, it's not until you've got 12,000, you're trading eight lots. But we can see here by week 25, you're earning your $10,000 a week. And you may look at this and say, well, hang on, Ray, I'm going to be trading 45 micros. No, because once you get to 10 lots, you can then switch over should you choose to trading the big contract where the commissions are also cheaper to trade. So what you've got to do is set a plan in place that is extremely realistic. Now, for some of you, I know you may say, well, look, Ray, I don't want to start off by trading the micros. I want to say, be trading the ES. Now, realistically, if you're going to trade the ES, you need $4,000. I know brokers will tell you that they've got uh, an intraday trading margin or day trading margins are much lower. Yes, you can go and trade for $500, but you have um, three or four losses and that's all gone. So realistically, to start off trading, uh, the big contract, 4,000, and on 100 a day, it might take you there 30 weeks to get to 10,000 a week or whatever target. If your target, say if you're a young gun uh, and you've really got, you're saying, right, I'm going, I want to become wealthy here. It's going to take you 35 weeks. However, 100 is quite <laughs> a very, very, very conservative target. So if you go for 200, you can see there, you've got the potential to be there in 15 weeks. Look, we could spend hours and hours going through this, but it's absolutely critical that you set targets and you have a goal, but it's also got to be realistic. Now, the next thing I'm going to be covering here is I'm going to be showing you some counter trend trades. And Paul Tudor Jones, who's a multi-billionaire from trading, here's what he's got to say. I believe the very best money is made at the market turns. Everyone says you get killed trying to pick tops and bottoms. And you make all your money by playing the trend in the middle. Well, for 12 years, here it says he's been making a fortune doing that. Now, on top of that, there's a, a fantastic book. If ever you've got a chance to get it, uh, Methods of a Wall Street Master. Uh, um, Victor wrote this book, uh, Trader Vic wrote this book back in 1992. 
um, and actually he was one of the first traders that I know of that was interested in neurolinguistics, which is a way of really rapidly learning a technique, but also developing a fantastic mindset when it comes to trading. And in that book, um, just something I provide my members is, is a great article in there where fortunes are made identifying a change in trend. Now he's got a, a technique that he uses. Now it does get you in very late, but the point is, and there are ways that I'll show you very quickly today how you can pinpoint a reversal very quickly, even quicker than this. However, this still has its place and it is still an excellent technique. It just gets you in a little later but combined with our techniques, it makes it extremely high probability. Now, the reason I bring this up is that members that are watching this, and if you join and become a member and I coach you, I'll be saying do not trade counter trend trading until you're consistently profitable as a trend trader. Okay, very important, but I'll point that out when we get to the charts in a moment. Now, what is also very important is, is we go through, I run, two light live trading rooms and also a coaching room is that I say to my members every day, you've got to know where your pivot levels are, open high, low and close and your major EMAs. And this is something that hardly anyone talks about. You've got to know where these levels are as you're about to see, because um, you know, there's a saying that uh, you've probably heard this, um, what you don't know can't hurt you. Well, that is just not true when it comes to trading. What you don't know will drain your bank account traders. You've got to know what you're doing. So let's get to the charts and let me run you through the trades of the day and give you a ton of tips and ideas. So the first one, I just, um, I just wanted to show you this, is that uh, this once again, just over the years is I've developed or had really tens of thousands, it literally is that now, of screen time experience. And what I discovered was there are certain patterns that appear in the market day after day. And Michael Douglas, uh, um, sorry, Mark Douglas, if I got, no, I don't hear this, here it is here, I've got his statement, what he says here is this, and this is very important. To become an expert, now Mark Douglas unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago, far too early. Um, but he's written some fantastic books, one of them being The Disciplined Trader, is what he says is to master the art of day trading, what you'd want to do is become an expert at one particular pattern that repeats itself, but also preferably one that is mechanical. So the trading strategies that I teach my members are very much pattern-based mechanical strategies. And the reason I bring this up is this, I just saw this as I was getting ready to, for this here. Um, and I'm not sure if we got some earlier, which we may see, but just here, this is what I call a 200 EMA overshoot. And uh, one of the key ingredients of trading or the key foundations of mastering out of day trading is to be trading in the direction of a higher time frame. And what I discovered some years ago, and I really don't know how, I think it was just screen time, is that when you have these 200 EMA overshoots, and here I've also got a pivot bounce, these are, and you can, whoops, where's that on that chart again? Just get that back, sorry. When we've got this, uh, what you've got is a very, very high probability um, trading opportunity. And we see these every day. So getting back to what Mark Douglas uh, was to teach his students, it's very important that you um, learn how to trade patterns. So let's start with the first trade of the day. Now, <laughs> this was for me uh, at, at um, 3 a.m. in the morning. This is midday Central Standard Time. Um, so this was very, very early in the morning for me. Now, uh, with this particular trade, I only had, I hadn't checked my dome and uh, added uh, where I normally trade uh, on the large contracts, but in the room I trade micros with the members because most members are trading micros. So one car, by the way, that means one contract. And um, if you're not aware, uh, 
they call contracts in the futures industry. Remember, you can apply this to stocks, forex, or any market. They call them cars because back in the olden days, when they first started trading futures, you would take a railway car full of, say, wheat or pork bellies or whatever. So that's where the name car come from, comes from, but that's really a contract. Now, here I actually shortened the first trade of the day and I shorted into, whoops, I'm going to have to watch this here. So uh, uh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Sorry, let me just turn this screen off up there. So I had a screen going uh, right up there that was making this move. So here we go, back to this here, because this is important, is that remember on that slide I showed you, it said to be very aware of major moving averages, of major EMAs. So this here is my entry chart. This is my anchor chart one. And just behind here, I actually have got this set up on other screens. That's what we call the anchor chart two. When you first start trading, really, you only need to have two charts. But as soon as you get the skill set, you want to develop and really start using three. But anyway, here I sold directly into and this is a 200 EMA. And you can see there I bounced off it very, very quickly. And uh, that's where I explain to the members, I actually uh, meant to get to break even, but never mind. And in fact, I'll, I'll tell you this here. When I trade, uh, see these, we call these steps uh, on Renko. So this is sort of unique to Renko and you've got a similar thing on range charts, but to Renko is that my first target is five steps and my second target. So half my contracts off at five steps, half off at seven. And, uh, I didn't do that here in this particular case and it bounced fairly quickly um, early in the morning. So you just got to really watch that when you're selling into an area of support or buying interest resistance, you've got to really be uh, on the ball there. But there I got out there with a couple of ticks covering commissions and a few ticks profit. Now, what I'm looking for generally speaking is to be trading with the trend. So as we then trended up, now uh, had an uptrend, and I'll say this is also uh, the platform I'm using here is Ninja Trader. Uh, I believe Ninja Trader now is the world's best trading platform. I really do. I was with uh, TradeStation for many years. Now with Ninja Trader, uh, and and by the way, um, if you become a, a member of mine, you get. I've got full suite of indicators. I include for Ninja Trader, uh, Ninja Trader Eight. Everything you see here, I include uh, free of charge and TradeStation. I've got very similar indicators for all other platforms because most of my indicators, uh, except for say the super scalp of the white paint bar there, and see the dots, these are things you can code very easily. And by the way, they're all based on logic, very, very simple logic. So if you're say using a platform where you can't code in certain things, you know what the rules are anyway, you can learn them. But anyway, you can apply the, all of these setups to any sort of platform. Now here I've crossed above the 200 EMA, I pull back. The thing we wanna teach or I teach new traders is, the first thing you wanna do is learn how to trade with the trend. As you're about to see, I'll fire off some, some counter trend trades, I'll explain why they were golden trend trades, but here we had what I call a 2B. And I went up there and I then hit my target, thank you very much, on one contract. Starting to wake up, the coffee was kicking in at 3.24 in the morning, and uh, oops, I better get my second contract on, as uh, I actually go live with the New York room at 4 a.m. my time, um, which is 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So my hours are a bit screwed up, but anyway, what we had down there was a 2B into major support. What I had here was a 2B with trend. And you can see on both charts, we're now in a solid trend. Now, as we then trended up, see this blue line here, okay, this cyan line, that is actually the prior day's high. The prior day's high, uh, the open high, low and close from the prior day, floor pivots and major EMAs are one of the most underutilized trading tools for traders. You see traders, most indicators 
that are out there are what we call derivatives of price, means they'll plot after price happens. Now, with uh, say pivots and with open, high, low and close of the prior day, they're what we call predictive indicators. And the reason being is so many traders use them and they're plotted in advance based on history. So you'll see for an example, here's another example here. We went through the pivot and what was once resistance will then become support. Now, if you're brand new to trading, some of the things I'm talking about may sound foreign initially, but the great news is this ain't rocket science, okay? It really isn't. Just a matter about understanding how it all works. Now, we then rallied up and see where it says a 3D PB? Well, that means I had divergence on three different time frames. Now, basically I triple divergence, which is a huge bonus. Now, um, the time frames that I use, I discovered a formula years ago. There's two formulas that I use. One that works for Renko and range charts, and the other one works for tick, volume, uh, time-based charts. The time frames that we set our entry chart, our anchor chart one, anchor chart two, because when you have multiple bounces on three time frames or even two time frames, you've got a double or triple chance of having a reversal. Okay, so the logic is, is very sound. Now here then, I jumped in on this trade and I was late. Okay, now this is, I was explaining this to the members this morning, I was getting some things ready. You cannot multitask when you trade. So I was preparing some things on the news and, and whatever, and I was in very late. Now, what that actually meant was, I would have got my five steps. Now, five steps in this business, and let me just show you if I've got that, I might still have the handout here. Here it is here. When you, If you want to achieve a net $70 a day, uh, on trading, say the the 16 tick, that means you've got the potential of within 18, uh, within 16 weeks, 18 weeks, of earning 10,000 a week. Now your income, you might be only targeting 1,000 a week. Uh, you know, look, if you're a young gun, uh, you might be going for your 20 grand a week, whatever. So this is where we have targets. Now, a five-step target is easier to hit than the seven. So I have uh, multiple targets. I go for seven sorry, for five and seven, because I find they're both very high probability. This is naturally easier to hit a five step target than it is seven. So I'll take half of my contracts off at five, whether it be a big contract or whether it be a micro and the other off at seven. Now you'll be amazed at what a massive potential of good 80 to 90% you'll hit five steps if you take these setups. Now provided you get in at the right time. Now I should have been in up here. It actually hit five steps. So I was in late and because it's a counter trend trade, okay, we, you've got to be really strict with your rules there. So once we come down to our major EMAs, we actually hit five steps. I would have been out with five steps on my first contract, but I was in late. Now, when you're in late, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually take that off my target. But anyway, uh, the thing was I was talking members, you've got to be focused. You can't be taking phone calls, reading books and all that sort of thing. So anyway, covered commissions, mighty fine. Then I jumped up to two contracts and this was another 2B. Now, whenever you take a trade, including counter trend trades or with trend trades as both of these are, we have a saying um, uh, in my rooms and with my members is that do we have blue skies ahead? And what I actually mean by that is this. In taking this trade, you can see up above, we had right in front of me, we had the prior day's high. Down here, the prior day's high was miles away. So if you're going to go for a larger target, now's the time to do it. For an example, in shorting, which is what you're doing here. What have we got in front of us? Do we have blue skies? Hell no. You've got major EMAs down here that are acting as support. 
So in taking any trade, this nonsense of you always go for a two to one, if you're risking $100 or $20, you've got to go for $40. It just doesn't wash traders. And the reason being, if you've got major support resistance in front of you or under you, you're going to bounce time and time again. So we need to adjust our realistic profit tar or our profit targets and be realistic when we have those. But anyway, I went long here. We then bounced at the pivot. We had then a nice pivot bounce. Okay, so I picked up five steps. There we got out there. And now I've got another counter trend trade. Now, I call these um, T7s, by the way. It simply means it's a double top. Now, what was interesting was I had three divergences on that one. Now I've only got two. Okay, but what I've got is a beautiful double top with fantastic resistance here, being the prior day's um, uh, high. Now, traders, your best divergence trades are going to be when you bounce off either a pivot, major EMAs, uh, um, or open high, low, and closes. Okay, so we took that short and I then came down and I bounced. Now, see how I bounce at my EMA? I actually got out of both contracts, or what actually happened, I hit my five steps, and because I hit that, I then went to break even on the second and then lock some profit in. Why? If you look at both charts, we are still in an uptrend. So one of the key questions we ask ourselves every day What's the direction of the trend? If we're in an uptrend, of course, if we are trading into the uptrend, you want to lock in either get to break even as quick as possible or lock in profits. Now then, uh, we then continued down. We had what we call uh, for existing members. We had a beautiful large uh, T10 there. This is the danger zone. Now, note over here, see your moving averages here, they're what we call fanning. We call that a fanning of the EMAs and angulation. When you start to see your EMAs start to go sideways, now I could go and put on here an ATR and all sorts of things to make it look very sophisticated, but as um, Richard um, Branson, Branson said, any fool can make something look complicated. I could make it look really good and you've got to put this indicator, but the easiest one is your EMAs, okay? It's telling me I'm sideways. Now, this was then when we collapsed. Now, whenever you cross under a 200 EMA on your entry chart and you can see a pivot under there, get ready, okay? And down we come and we actually had a bounce at that stage. Now. Uh, we were very flat, that was a 200B, and I'm chatting the weight of the members. So remember, uh, we go into different time frames and we're not always on the chart. For an example, we might be looking at what we call a hard chart at the time, okay? Um, which is a Heikinashi uh, combination, a, a very unique thing I use called um, uh, a Renko and a Heikinashi uh, candle combination. I want you to look at this. Your turn points. It just works an absolute treat. But anyway, getting back to that, let me just scroll back to there. Whoops, a little bit too far. Here, um, the foot, what, what you've got to learn very quickly. Okay, so we had a, a nice potential um, bounce off a pivot there. I wasn't in on that one. So look at this here. And by the way, you would have exited here. Remember the, the quote, do I have blue skies ahead? Well, not really. You've got all of these major EMAs ahead and look what happened. We had a bit of a bounce. Now, yes, we eventually got through them. Okay, but you've got to be aware of that. Now, what you've got to learn, traders, is how to identify a trend. And it's a very easy way. We're looking for a series of higher lows for an uptrend and higher highs. Now, here, we're sideways, you know, anything can happen. But preceding this higher low, we had a new higher high. And this is when then I jumped in on the trade, got out at five and got out at seven steps. And look what happened also. We then bounced off the, uh, our, uh, sorry, trade <laughs> prior high. Let me think what it is. 
Okay, so we then come down. Now that's when then that was uh, 3.30 Eastern we'd finished with that was our last trade of the day. Now, if here we can see we've leveled out, then we've got a deep pullback just there. Now, it had a little bit of divergence. The experienced traders will see, and we call that a T19. A T19 is where you've got only divergence on your entry chart. So if you've only got divergence on your lowest time frame, that's your riskiest um, uh, uh, trade. We then, a uh, little 200 overshoot, we had a 2B on the anchor charts, uh, then it took off from there into the market close. Now, just a matter of interest, and just so you know, now the market reopens traders at 1700, the Globex market. Now, if you can't trade during the New York hours, or if you're say in Asia, Southeast Asia or Europe, um, the market reopens, it closes for an hour, and then it reopens, they reset the computers and whatever they do. There's some fantastic trading opportunities um, uh, once the market opens. And this is the 16 tick here once again. You can just see the entry points we had. Now, what you would actually be doing, you wouldn't be trading this time frame. You drop, you drop down to the eight tick or the 12 tick. This will just take a minute. Just um, delays when I'm recording. It's a bit of a delay. So you actually lower the time frame because you've got much lower volume, but there's still some fantastic trading opportunities. And you've also got uh, like just here, okay? Just uh, like there, there. Now this is actually, the, let me just check this out here. This is actually a zone you've got to be very cautious on. So we'll just get to that and I'll show you why. So wait till that's on the 14 tick, okay? So see this here, see how flat our major EMA is. Now, this is where you've got to learn, um, uh, you know, there, there's a time to go, as I think it was Jesse Livermore famously said, there's a time to go long, that is to buy, there's a time to go short, which is to sell, and there's a time to go fishing. Well, because we're day traders and we're scalping, so, you know, these time frames might last 30 minutes, right? We say there's a time to go and grab a coffee, All right? So when it's very easy to identify when you're in a, a zone of consolidation, see how all your moving averages here are sideways, okay? That's when you've got to be cautious. This is what you're looking for. You call this a fanning of the of the EMAs, that's what we call that. That's where the money is made. So traders was a, a great day. Um, uh, you know, we could have uh, fired off another half a dozen trades and probably doubled what we had there. Now, realistically, how much time does one need to put in? I, I say to traders, each day you need to really lock away two to three hour time blocks. Okay, you've got to really lock away two to three hour time blocks, whether it be during the New York hours, the London hours, or, or, or the Asian hours. Because sometimes, like we just saw there, even though it's only been going for 15 minutes, you'll have periods of consolidation. Okay, so you've got to really put some serious effort in. You know, as I say today, traders, look, you, you can't be interested, you've got to be committed if you want to master the art. It's not rocket science, but you've got to put the time and effort in. So let me teach you how to day trade. So I've got an offer here. Before you hang up, you've got to see this because this has the potential to change your life very, very quickly. Now, I've got what I call the Day Traders Fast Track Program, and there's two parts to this. I've got my Day Traders Fast Track Program, which is really, literally, the world's most comprehensive uh, day traders program. There's over 30 PowerPoints, 250 videos. There's indicators for basically every platform. Now, mainly NinjaTrader, TradeStation, MT4, Think or Swim, but all the other platforms I give you the settings anyway. There's hundreds, there's literally hundreds of handouts. Now, before you go shoot, how am I going to pick this up then? Well, that's where you only focus on one or two of my setups to begin with, the 2B and the 34B. High probability, rules-based trend following. You start with that.
but also I want to encourage you to attend some of my live coaching sessions. So twice a week, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I run a live room and I have two to 300 traders in any one room, any one session. Now they are also recorded. So uh, if it, the hours don't suit you, uh, because wherever you are in the world, they are recorded and you have permanent lifetime access to them as you do with my program. So over a month, you then get 16 hours of live coaching. Okay, so you can type in questions, we go through trades of a day, and it's just so much that we cover, where I'm teaching you step by step how to trade. Now, others will charge you thousands of dollars just for the indicators. Now, I charge you only $197. And actually, I should say to you, your investment is only $197 for what I know to be the world's most comprehensive program and one month of coaching. Why? Because I want to earn the right to keep you as a long-term coach. You see, traders, I've been doing this now for many, many years, and I have, as I mentioned, 10,000 members. And how I make my money, quite frankly, is my coaching clients. I've got hundreds of members that join for monthly or annually, and they stay with me. And so what, what a better way to really show you how to actually master the art of day trading by allowing you to join and get all of my trading materials, training materials for $197, the works, and one month in my room for only $197. Now, there's no contract you sign. In other words, after your eight free sessions or one month, if you like what you see, you can then put your hand up, say, Ray, this is fantastic. I want to continue with you, please. Now, as I mentioned, I've been doing this a long, long time. For an example, just on this page is 51 months of coaching. And in every coaching session besides my course materials, you also have additional materials. Now, there's there's eBooks, there's um, uh, reference sheets, or really they're called cheat sheets, but I try to change the name. There's articles, um, if you're into measured moves, now, what? once again, there's PowerPoints on those, and I run you through, but let me say this again. Relax if you're brand new, because what we do, we actually kick you off, and I really drive home the necessity of focusing on two setups, the 2B and the 34B. They're closely related, very, very close to each other, the setups, and they kick butt. Okay, and I say to all members, because we've got such a why, I've got full-time professional traders. And by the way, I could show you testimonies, you probably wouldn't even believe them they're that good. But you can go to my website if you want to start to peruse some of those. I've, I, look, I get, and I don't ask what I get, I've got hundreds of them. So the best thing for you is to invest $197, you get my entire program, all of my indicators, and after the first month, if you like it, so you can stay with me. Okay, I want you long term. Now, so what's uh, so my program itself is 27 years of experience. I've been there, done that. I just wish actually I won't turn the camera on now, but I wish you could see my library behind me right now. So traders, uh, on top of that, you get your coaching sessions. This is a $10,000 plus program, traders. So come and join me. So please click on the link below and you'll go to my website and you'll be able to, or actually you might go directly to the checkout page, I think it is. My my uh, IT manager looks after that side of it. But uh, traders, come and join me for a month. After that, hopefully you wanna join me for the next year or two. Now you may think, well, hang on, if it's so good, why do I wanna be with you for a year? It's very simple, traders. The best sports people, the best musicians, the best business people all have coaches. You see, I'm gonna let you into a secret. Mastering the art of day trading is not about the setups. That's actually the easy part. You know, the 2B kicks butt every single day. And oh, let me just do the qualification there. 
provided we're trading trendy markets or markets that have got some volume. But it's not the, the setups that let traders down. I think it was Ricardo, one of my members said, if only we could trade like monkeys. That's what he said, because the setups work. It's you, the trader, that lets it down, such as not following the money management rules, uh, such as being greedy and risking 5%. It's not the setups, it's the psychology. And I spend a lot of time on neurolinguistics. Uh, I've even hired, seriously, I've even hired a hypnotherapist uh, who's recorded uh, sessions. I'm just going to. So let me just quickly show you this if you've got just the time. So once again, if you want to check out now, you can go um, uh, to the page and check out. But uh, here, I'll just show you this. Uh, these are folders. Now in these folders, you get access to my Google Drive. There's folders here are strategy PowerPoint spreadsheets of recordings. But down here, I've hired a hypnotherapist to actually record hypnotherapy sessions for my members. I've got Paul McKenna, hypnotherapy sessions on building self-confidence. You see, trading is far more than just indicators and setups traders, far more. You name it, like when it comes to indicators, this is just on NT8s, okay? And by the way, when you do join, because we're getting so many Ninja Trader 8 um, members join. When you go, go to the NT8 folder, see that one there, raise charts? Go into that, raise charts in the NT8, and you'll find I've also got templates for my setups there. Just thought I'd mention that. So anyway, traders, look, I look forward to having you as a member. Uh, come and join me. If you're serious about a career, whether it be part-time, or full-time as a day trader. You get all of the spreadsheets I've shown you and so much more. Come and join me. In one month, I'm pretty certain I'll have you hooked. Thanks traders, I'll see you in one of my classes.